of your development agenda for this country. So, Your Excellency, we are here to endorse you and we are here to stand by you as a constituency to win massively and come again to continue the good work that you have started. On that note, Your Excellency, we will, I will end here because my other colleague, Honorable Atu, will also come and continue. On that note, gentlemen and ladies, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Bismarck Abobi of Ayaso West Wagon. I humbly call the Chairman for Ayaso Centra, Harry Otu Hesi. Hey! Hey! And this year, and this year, Ayawaso Centra. I can't hear you loud. Ayawaso Centra. Ayawaso Centra. Yes, Your Excellency, this time around, Ayawaso Centra MPP are going to Jofui. They are going to run. Your Excellency, John Dramani Mahama, our next president of the Republic of Ghana. We welcome you to Ayawaso Central as the two constituencies have joined to welcome you for you to deliver your campaign message to us. Ayawaso Central delegates, together with the executives, we assure you that come 13th of this uh, May, we are going to give you 99.7 percent. I said 99.7 percent because uh, definitely we might have some spoiled ballots, ballots. So we cannot assure the 100 percent, but the 99.7 is assured. Not only that, come 2024, Ayawaso Central is going to make sure. We increase your vote in Ayaso Central and also guarantee you the seat. Win the seat come 2024 to add to the seats that you already have in Parliament. Your Excellency, today I would like you to promise the people of Ayaso Central that when we deliver this seat to you, things that you are going to give to Ayaso Central, the good people of Ayaso Central. And also assure us that when we get the seat, you are going to give us a ministerial appointment. Not only a ministerial appointment, but being its CEO, a chief executive of any of the boards, uh, we want you to assure us today. So we will also assure you that we are going to work tirelessly to make sure your dream and our dream come true. So without wasting much time, I will stand on behalf of Ayawaso Central delegates and myself to welcome you to Ayawaso Central. Oyuado. We We Chobai, Jomama, waya 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 waya. Mini ano, buma hanya blau. Vuvuza la fuo, vuvuza la fuo. Embra fema e. Yada moase. Mini ano. Ene ananti pa. Fiti na ano. Enti yan chance ukra. Yadi be be vye ye nyumri. Ochina be vye kwata kwata greta akra. Enti bebi aye dui adiko poti enti aya ba hano yebe fre the chairman of the Greater Accra Region Chairman Emmanuel Ni Ashimo number introduction of the president in waiting for 2025 Mumbai Sefasia Chairman Ashimo. Aye zu, aye zu, aye za za za. I don't, I can't hear from you at all. John Dramani Mahama is in our midst. 
So listen to me. Domahama. 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 I can't hear you. I'll start all over. Domahama. 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 Say All too soon we finish the leg four and the face three of the greater Accra John Mahama campaign tour. Let me stand on all existing protocols and also let me use this opportunity to thank His Excellency himself after OT coming to visit us in greater Accra as well. Let me thank his campaign team. Let me thank the regional executive greater Accra. Mm -hmm. Let me also thank the Zona campaign team and the greater Accra campaign team as well. Let me also use the opportunity to thank our first vice chairperson, Dr. Sherry Ayete as well. We are here today to introduce to you the president in waiting. Ayazu, Ayazu, Ayazazuza, the president who has done it before, the president who is tried and tested, the president who has a track record, the president who has a technical know how, the president who does all, the president who brings the Ghana that we want. The president who has come to give us the Ayawaso is an Ayawaso Central, Ayawaso West Wagon that we want. The president who is going to support the MPs that will be given to us by this constituency. Let me use this opportunity to mention a few of the projects that he has done before I will introduce him. Either than that, I could see that uh, the Ikrafoya see uh, we see that the wind is blowing fast, so I'll be very quiet and fast. This is what the president did for these two constituencies 18 unit classroom block at World Force, municipal health directorate, asphalting of overlay of the circle pig farm to Alajo. I'm just mentioning some few of them. Terminal 3. Terminal 3. Terminal 3. Today, one of the airports, when you go to the South African regions, people testify, people travel from Nigeria even to come and have a look at it. Because of time, I will not be able to mention all. There is a few. His Excellency, the President, I also was working and I also central. Is the two constituency that we've combined together, and I also was has 13 wards, 207 branches, 1863 delegates, plus 29 constituency executives. They've all promised of giving you 100 percent vote. His Excellency, I also central has 12 wards, 187 branches, 1000. 683 delegates plus 29 constituency executives. They've also promised you 99.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.9.
delegates from the two constituency. Any delegate here, I'm going to introduce the man we are all waiting for. And if I see anybody sitting down, we do like me now, huh? Ayazu, Ayazu, delegate, your waiting president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency. Thank you. Ayazu. Ayaza. Ahejo. Ahejo. MFA. MFA. Hey. 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 Thank you. Um, I know that there are Muslims amongst us, and um, it's time for them to break their fast. So we're going to keep this short so that they can go home and finish up also it's just a few days more to the Eid al fitr that is the end of the fast the end of the month of ramadan and so i say to all our muslim brothers and sisters baraka the salah thank you very much let me thank you for the warm welcome you've given us and to thank you for the assurance you have given of 99.9% in the vote that we're going to take on May 13th. We are choosing both our parliamentary and presidential candidates at the same time, but my information is that the two constituencies, Awaso Central and Awaso West Wagon, have been put on hold. I'm told that Central has been cleared, but you've not yet opened nominations. And so I just want to say that when the time comes, let us all come together and vote for our parliamentary candidates. And after we vote for our parliamentary candidates, let's all come together and support them so that we can win the two seats of Ayawasu Central and Ayawasu West Wagon. It is possible. It is possible. At Awasu West Wagon, we came close. And if we had put our act together properly, I'm sure that we actually won that election. At Awasu Central, too, if we all come together as one, I'm sure that something is going to happen in Awasu Central in 2024. So I assure you, as the presidential candidate, I'm going to give your two constituencies the fullest support so that we can take these seats and bring them on the NDC side. The logistics you need to do your work will be provided. And this time, we're going to bring it directly to the branch executives. When we have secured the logistics, we'll bring them here. And you yourselves will come and count and make sure everything is intact. And then you share it and take it back to your branches. Ghanaians are looking up to us to come and rescue them. And so in 2024, we're going to give you the rewards in order to encourage you to be able to do the job. I've said that. After we finish voting and counting 
the constituencies that will present their results, collated results, and their pink sheets before a particular time will get a very handsome reward. On 7 December 2024, we are all not going to sleep. Our constituency office is going to remain open. We are going to have hotlines there. And we'll give all of you the numbers. And so once you get your results, you have to call in and give your numbers so that we can enter it into the computer. I want that by 1 a.m., 2 a.m. on 7 December, we would have received all our results and we know that NDC has won the national election. And so we're going to give you voting targets. And any branch that exceeds the targets we give you, all the nine member executives will get a very handsome reward. And as I've said, when, and I didn't say if, because I know by the grace of God, NDC is winning the 2024 election. And so when we come into office, our branch executives, consular executives, you're also going to benefit from all the opportunities that Ghana has to offer. If there are scholarships to go and study, your children will also benefit from those scholarships. If we are recruiting into the public services, military, police, fire service, prisons, your children also qualify to be recruited. We are no going to, longer going to ask you to sacrifice because times have changed. You also have responsibilities. You have husbands, you have wives, you have children. And so if we are distributing small loans to women to trade or do small businesses, our women's organizers, you too, we shall include you. Hey, Sue. And as I've said, when we come into office, the president and the ministers, once a year, will come around the way we are, we've come like this and will come and meet you. And will tell you what the government is doing for you. And you also will tell us the challenges and the problems that you have so that all of us will be on the same wavelength. Our country, Ghana, is in reverse gear. And we need an experienced driver to rescue it and put it back on the path of growth. This government has destroyed almost every sector of our economy. The economy is destroyed. And today we cannot pay our debts. And so we're going around like beggars and begging for debt forgiveness. And how did we arrive here? Because of family and friends. The president put his cousin as finance minister. When in MPP, there were even more capable people than his cousin. And yet, despite everything, he has refused to take him out of there. His own MPs rebelled against him, 80 of them. He has defied them and refused. Meanwhile, we all know that this finance minister was benefiting from all the loans he was taking. His company was benefiting. And so when he was over borrowing and we were telling him, he refused to listen. And today, this is where we've ended. And so Ghanaians want a change. And the only viable alternative is the NDC. So I know that the time has come for NDC to come back and rescue this country. What Ghana needs today is an experienced government with an experienced leader who accepts responsibility and who works to fix whatever challenges we have. And I know that by the grace of God, I have that experience. 
because I've done it before. I've taken my time to understudy big leaders from President Rawlings and even in President Kufo's time I was an opposition MP. And I understand it, President Mills, may God rest his soul. And I had my own period when I took responsibility for this nation. And we faced serious challenges, we solved them. We did not run away, we did not shift the blame to other people. This government likes shifting blame to everything except themselves. Anything that goes bad is either COVID-19, or it is Russia-Ukraine war, or sometimes they say we make too much noise and money doesn't like noise. He can't pay the day. After seven years in office the other day, I was reading and somebody said the economy is bad because of Mahama. I said, <laughs> after seven years, Mahama is still the name on your tongue. And every day, unless they, don't, they mention my name, they can't sleep. And so jam, 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 jam. And the propaganda they have is, NDC, don't you have anybody else? And for a beautiful frog by ya. Ebianke, a bit of a bit of a We are not small children. And so let me thank you. I said I was not going to talk for too long. Let me thank our executives. We've had two very successful days of a greater Accra regional tour. Tomorrow we'll wrap up with our